everybody, it's Star. Today's video, I'm sharing with you two vegan meals, starting out with yellow squash. I only use one along with one sweet potato, chopped and peeled with a bush of organic carrots. And I used some of the stem, and it actually made the flavoring of my veggie mix really good. So I think I'm gonna be using that more often. But you wanna make sure that you cut the carrot on each end and wash them really well before coating it with their sauce. Now I'm using balsamic vinegar, maple syrup, and a pinch of Himalayan sea salt along with black pepper to get these carrots nice and marinated before placing them into the oven. The sweet potato is nice and soft, so you just want to use a fork or whatever masher tool you may have to mash everything together. Add in some maple syrup, cinnamon, and vegan butter. This is the Earth Balance brand that I'm using, and there you have it. Mix it all together, and you have smashed sweet potato. It was really good. This is like one of my favorite type of um, meals to have because sweet potatoes is like really easy to make and they're really good i love sweet potatoes over regular potatoes any day but they're so yummy moving on to this cabbage i like to say purple cabbage but it's known for red cabbage but it definitely looks purple so we're going to go with purple or red cabbage i'm going to cut this up into many many pieces because cabbage is a tough vegetable so you want to make sure you cut it into decent sized pieces to get everything steamed out really well into the pan at an even type of timing. After the cabbage steams out a bit, then I'm adding in the squash along with some nice herbs and most likely it's just a herb mix that I have in my cabinet, a blend of parsley, oregano, onion powder, some ginger, and some turmeric. And I also added in the stem of the carrot and this was a really um, nice thing to do because it just gave some extra greens to have as well as a carrot flavor although there was no carrots in it but it was really good add two packs of soy sauce as well and just coat everything together and I covered it with the lid The sweet potato, roasted carrots, cabbage and squash saute, and I added a nice corn on the cob. It was so good. Next up is this organic red lentil spaghetti pasta, and I had to try out some red lentil spaghetti again. I tried the red lentil penne pasta before, and I love pasta, so I had to come up with alternatives because I tried to get mostly gluten-free but just eating just large amounts of pasta anyway makes you put on weight and I don't really want to put on weight so I kind of just do red lentil pasta and red lentil pasta is really good so you just start out with boiling the pasta and it looks red cut up your tomatoes your green onions your green pepper and get everything prepared for the pot Add in some extra virgin organic olive oil. I like to have extra virgin olive oil. It's something about the quality and taste that tastes a little bit better than like other olive oil. So you want to make sure you have a nice rich olive oil to give it some flavor into your meal. Then I'm just adding some minced garlic. Let that simmer a bit so it can bring out some garlic flavor into the vegan veggies and this is the feel roast brand that i'm using i got it from whole foods it's really good it's the apple maple sausage the sausage is already pre-cooked so you just more so want to get it heat um, to your liking i like to toast them a little bit before adding in the water and the other veggies 
add in your green pepper. Give that a nice toss and enter some water into the pan as well and it comes to a nice boil. Everything was a nice aroma at this point into the kitchen. I add in the tomato sauce as well, topped off with some herbs, some parsley, oregano, garlic, onion powder, black pepper, and a little of Himalayan sea salt. I added some ketchup to this as well. And then I put the lid on again to let it thicken before adding in the garbanzo beans and the tomato as the last finishing touches of this nice vegan sausage spaghetti type tomato blend. It was really good, you guys. I love I loved adding uh, my own little touch to making like a sauce at home versus getting um, a sauce like a Prego brand from... The supermarket is something about homemade sauce that tastes more rich and I can add whatever seasonings I want to it and I can control the sodium which is always 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 a plus because everything has tons of sodium in it nowadays. Here goes the pasta. It looks like regular pasta right? Like voila the redness is gone and you would never know that is lentil pasta unless I told you. So oops I almost forgot adding your green onions as the last finishing touches and Yep, the pasta is done. Here's a nice quick picture of the pasta. And I hope you guys enjoy.